Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Late Night Brew, where I'm your host, Robert Bartanica, and joining me for episode three of the Data Analytics and or Business Intelligence, Brian Gilligan. Brian, welcome back. Hello again. Now, I completely forgot my intro. However, we all know the deal by now. We talk the <laughs> brews first. Brian, what are you having with me, buddy? All right, today I got this one, uh, Beechworth Pale Ale. This is uh, very tasty. Um, by the way, pale ales are my go-to when I go to the pub here in Australia. They're usually very quite nice and refreshing. I respect that. Wheats have become my, my go-tos. Uh, I have a honey rye golden ale uh, from, a, yeah, Four Corners. Oh, that was buzz. tasty. It, it's really good. Oh, it is that dangerously light, flavorful, but not too much. Uh, and I believe it's like a 5%. So you can oh, yeah. drink it most of the day. So it's a good one. It's one of those you got to watch yourself on how many cans you're, <laughs> you're going through. <laughs> All right. Today, we are going to dive into what are we doing with this data? How do we work with it? So on that Brian, how do we transform all of this data that we've spent two episodes talking about? Yeah, so data, there's a lot of it. Um, I think the best way, the best metaphor for data um, or transformation, a lot of times people call it ETL, something like that. But really all we're doing is we're bringing the data together and making something beautiful of it. So very similar to making a beautiful meal. So I equate it to that. Um, if you think about a good meal, you first have to start with your ingredients. So you have to go out and get the best ingredients you can. In the data world, that means that your data quality is good. But you may have data that's uh, your ingredients for your dashboards and your reports could be coming from anywhere. So you have it from whether it's the web, a data warehouse, wherever you might have it, think of it like those ingredients. And as a chef, what you're really doing is you're bringing those the best quality um, ingredients together, you're preparing it, and you're cooking it in a way where you're bringing all those beautiful flavors together to create a beautiful meal. And so for me, that's what I think about when I think about uh, transforming data. It's it's you gotta bring it, get all your ingredients, and bring it together. Now, what I think about it too, the the when specifically with data, the big thing for me always comes down to, um, I guess, a tip is you want your data to be scalable, which means mm -hmm. that um, it can grow big and small. It's not going to fall over. Uh, second is you want it to be sustainable, which means that you want it to last a long time. And then lastly, you want it to be easy to use. You know, think about the meal. You want it to be tasty, but it doesn't have to be super complex, even though you have a lot of ingredients. You just want to bring it together in a way that's elegant uh, and something that's easy to work with um, and tastes delicious. Yeah. Well, because like that, say, what's I was that? Say the culinary world, you eat with your eyes first. So when you got that pretty dashboard, yeah, feast for your eyes and then you dig into it. So that's right. <laughs> uh, on. On that hungry, hungry point, you've <laughs> you've got this beautifully cooked meal and and this wonderfully sourced data. What what do we do with it to transform it? What do we do with this tra or not with the transform? What do we do with the transformation? Well, when you transform it, you are bringing it together in what's called the data model, and that is that combination of bringing it together. And there's a lot of different ways we do it. Um, but it is just getting, essentially getting all those ingredients, all those data things to talk. So, yeah. you know, so you might have something here and you might have something there. Uh, the, the, really, the transformation is not just to, 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 to aggregate it or bring it down, but it is that to bring that, join that data together, you know, or stack it on top of each other, or make, just make it talk. And so that's really what we're doing with it. It's like not that much, how do I say it? It's, not more uh, any more sophisticated than that, <laughs> or more complex. Yeah, it's just no big deal. Without a uh, beef bolognese, no no big deal, you know. Which, well, like that's cooking, not even a good I one. will say this: like <laughs> cooking, uh, the data aspect of this transformation part 
in likelihood cooking, it, it's, it takes up about 80% of the time. Right. Uh, I found with more complex meals and more complex data, uh, it does take a long time to do it. Um, but yeah, if you do it right, it tastes delicious in the end. Yeah, my my experience is the longest thing that always takes me, whether it's cooking or projects, is the prep work, right? Dicing all the ingredients, gathering, like, I to, to take it out of dicing. this into to migration world, a migration is 80% planning. Like, you, you got to plan all those pieces, parts before you push any data across. It, that's most of it. And then the cooking was like, oh, yeah, you just do this, do this, toss it yeah, in, time it, it, right? It's, then it's just put things in in the right order, and out <laughs> comes the meal. <laughs> that, that is exactly how it works. Um, yeah, it, it just it just takes time, and there's, like, a good chef. You have good techniques and different ways yep. to bring it together. Um, and some are better than others, but you know a good meal and you know a not so good meal. <laughs> yeah, and, and always, whether it's culinary or IT, garbage in, garbage out. And, that's exactly that's right. That's the good ingredients. Succinctly right there. You, you, you give terrible data, probably gonna have a terrible report. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> on, on that hungry note, I'm gonna go cook dinner because I am now very hungry <laughs> after talking about data of all things. Brian, thank you very much uh, for the information, for making us hungry. I, If there's any questions, please feel free to reach out. Our contact info is always below. Stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, mate, thank you very much, and cheers. All right.